everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here, and I got Monkey 1000 right Hi, here everyone. beside me. And um, we're gonna <laughs> review this LED multi tool. Mm -hmm. It's got eight different tools in one. Let's check it out, see what we think of it, right? Yep. All right, let's open it up. Okay guys, got a bunch of, here's the thing, I got a bunch of stuff up here where this is, has to do with this thing. So let me get my glasses on here and you're right, I should have put my mic on. So it's not the sound, sorry, the sound's only going to be like pretty much on one side, but I'll do the best I can here. Uh, eight tools in one LED multi tool light up the outdoors this tool tools included is a stainless steel knife Phillips screwdriver pliers with wire cutters stainless steel saw blade powerful LED light and flathead screwdriver with bottle opener okay this is uh, what is it premier premier finds is that who makes that focus there we go and uh, now who got this for me your email me. you did where'd you get it at Wally world yeah how much was it don't remember you don't remember okay well it was bought I think it. it was like five bucks something like that so it was cheap yeah it was affordable expensive. yeah okay so yeah it was at Walmart it wasn't very much she said so Five bucks or something. All right, we get. Uh, here's the, um, and it's cool because it's it, this is wood, and it looks like it's got uh, screw heads. So like I could probably take that apart and you know clean it, whatever. And there it tells you everything. You got needle nose pliers, regular pliers. Uh, wire cutters, knife, Phillips screwdriver, bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, double saw, and a powerful, one powerful LED. Okay, so let's get this out here. Okay. And it also has a thing to put on your key ring or whatever. Alright, so let's start with, well, let's open this up first. Let's see. How do I open it? Well, anyway, <laughs> those are cute. Oh, cool. It's got a spring there, so it's spring loaded. It opens up by itself. All right. So here's the light. Let's see what the light does. Am I missing something? I don't know. It's like it's real hard to pull out. Let me try. Uh, there we go. Now, there's the light. Let's... That's cute. Okay, but how do you turn it on? The light is not coming on. Am I doing something wrong? It's got the battery in it. Uh. Uh huh. Uh, you gotta take that little deal out, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, these, these are little tiny batteries. Mm. Wow. I wonder if they stay in this. Right now, let's. I don't know. Does it go like this or like this? Do I get to take it out of here? I don't, it doesn't give you directions. It doesn't really say anything. Just says that they're sharp and to be careful. And <laughs> it's not a toy. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. You let's, know, it says you, how to clean it with soft cloths when you're using it. There we it. go. 
There. There you go. We'll take this and we'll show it to you in the dark. Oh, that's but, cool. Nice um, little light. Okay, so there's that. It's now tough, let's see if we can it? get the other things open because um, I mean, it doesn't really say how to open them. You just pull them usually, out. Usually, well, right. like that. How do you get to it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It should be just pull them out. I don't know. It's coming out on the inside, so. See, there's no nail. You want me to try? To put your fingernail in. Right. Well, already I ain't liking that. <laughs> yeah, there's no. I mean. You have to pry it open. Yeah. There's no clip. Must be missing something here. Let me figure this out, cause like, like I'd never be able to get that Phillips out of there. Well, it looks way, like it comes out way, all together. Way the Phillips is way down inside there. Let me figure this out. Okay guys, so the little things for your nail is on the inside here and it's way down in there, which I do not, I don't like that, but it's way too far down in. There's that one. Then the other one's on the inside of here, way down in there. I mean, come on. So what I'm saying, that's kind of dangerous. <laughs> right. Because in order to get to this, you know, you got to pull these out. And there's a saw blade right there. And then to get this out. I don't like that. I don't uh -uh. like that at all. Uh -uh. Oh, see, I could have just cut my damn finger trying to get this out. Very hard. Shouldn't be that hard. Well, you wouldn't think. Mm -mm. I mean, huh? All right, so let's. All right, there's the knife. Little, of course, which is okay. It's all right if if you need a knife. But I mean, I'm not going to carry that around, but to have in a tackle box or something like that or in your kit would be okay I guess but mm -hmm. I mean to to have to reach down <clears throat> in there and I you know I don't have nails because I do a lot of grease work and you know it gets under my nails so I keep my nails short I mean that's why I had to use this thing um, but here's the knife I need something to cut how perfect was that? Of course, these things aren't ever sharp when you first get them. You, you know, you need to sharpen them. Most cheap knives you have to sharpen when you first get them. Hmm. Well, let's do a review on this real quick. Hunter smoked sausage. Talum. Hmm, that's pretty good. You want a bite? Sure. All right, so there's a knife. It is short. It, I mean, it's sharp. It's not like razor sharp, but it is. It does come with a nice edge, so that's good. Now, what we're going to do is... Here we go. See, that's what I'm saying. It's way down in there. Mm. This is your bottle opener here. Mm. But... 
see and it's getting like look at that it gets caught on that thing that thing is not out of the way make sure you move it out of the way that little ring um, Got a couple holes started here in this wood. Uh, here's the straight screwdriver part. These are always awkward, but when you need a straight screwdriver, I guess anything's better than nothing, you know? Okay, so would it work if you had to? Yeah, it'd work, but let's try the regular pliers out. There we go. Yeah, for a little. Alright, wire cutters. Let's try the wire cutters out. I've got a piece of wire here. Yeah, it's a thick piece of wire. But it is cutting it. I mean, for. I mean, that's pretty thick, so. Uh, I've had better multi tools. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is this is all right, but I don't know if it's worthy enough to keep in the tackle box or, you know, probably keep it in my toolbox maybe. But glove glove compartment of the truck or something. If you know, if you need something, you know, like I said, a little pair of pliers is better than no pliers, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Because there it is working. I don't want to split this, so it's starting to split. So let's take this out of here. And let's try this screw. This is a Phillips screw. It's just a, what is that, a two inch uh, drywall screw. Let's put this back in here. Well, first. Crap. <laughs> Yeah, they could have designed that a lot better. Mm, I think so too. See, that's. I mean, it's really hard. I mean, that's kind of getting in the way. That could have been over here on the side somewhere. They're not paying me for this either, guys. I wish they were. Because mm. then maybe my voice would be something they could make something good out of. Okay, see that's so tiny. I don't know what you would do with that. That is real tiny. <laughs> huh. And it's too small for something like this. But it's too big to fix your glasses, you know. So, alright, so far it's not doing real well. There are some things I like about it. <clears throat> I do like the springy dob bob bob there. Um, I do like the wooden handles. I do like that. Feels good. It's not real heavy. I mean, it's bulky, but it is a multi tool. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this outside and um, we're going to try the saw and the light out. Okay, so what do you think, Monk? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what else you can do with it. I said we're going to take it outside and try the saw That's what I said. and light out, right, Monk? And you said, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Well, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I got one more thing I need to try. Mm -hmm. what Monkey is, is going to help me in the freezer and the. In the. Uh, Fridge. In the freezer in the garage. Oh. So we're going to try our bottle opener. Then we're going to go outside, we're going to try the light out, and we're going to try um, the saw out. i got a piece of wood over here, we're going to try to cut it, but... Alright, here we have a coat. This is from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well I'm telling them, honey. Can't read that, but I'll show it to you there. Now, the reason why it tastes so good out of the bottle, and a lot of people don't know this, I know it now, but it took a while to find out why, but 
the reason why everybody says, you know, well, the Coke in a can and Coke in a bottle, they taste different. Why? And then you got other people going, no, they don't. Coke's Coke. That's not true because this is made with sugar. The other stuff's made with that syrup stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's try this out. I don't know. I opened one of these one time in the truck with a dollar bill. Not very impressive, but it worked, okay? It'll get you. Throw it in your glove box or next time you're driving your pickup truck down the old gravelly road and enjoying a cold beer, I mean a cold pop, you can open it there. So, okay, so we did that. Let me get a drink of this. I love this stuff, man. Oh, yeah, a lot different. Now, let's go outside. And we're going to try to cut a piece of wood with this. I mean, the craftsmanship's not that great. Can you see that? Look at that. It looks like it's been, like, dinged up and shit. I'm glad you didn't pay $100 for this. For no. Me. Because that'd be like, then I'd have to give it a real good review. And then people go by and say, that Shea Bear's full of shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get our saw out here. Before we get outside, I don't have to dick around with it out there. Okay, and our light. Okay, now it's coming out of there easier, kind of. Okay, so all right, we'll meet you guys outside. Okay, guys, we are outside. As you can see, it's dark. Can't see anything, but right here, I got my trusty handy dandy. There's my light. Okay, see the light. Now let's show this down there. Uh, let's look at the plant. I'm gonna shut the light off. Boop. So the light's pretty good. Is it a five dollar light? No. <laughs> um, but the light I think so far is the most. What do you think? The handy thing. Yeah. Excuse me. Handiest thing on here yeah. is the light so far, because it is a. It's a decent light. I mean, you know, it's not super bright but if you drop something you need to find your keys it'll be fine unless these are on your keys then you're kind of screwed and then you got to go get a light to find this to use the light to find your keys which in that sense makes no sense so let's turn the big light on here <laughs> there we go there we go there's the big light we got monkey over here okay she's got her you see she's got her little thing on there she's her face mask which is very important because we need for safety so what I'm gonna do now is try this little knife out here so it's got kind of a little deal on the end there I don't know this is a one inch by one inch piece of wood here so that gives you an idea it's about an inch and a half blade so let's try to cut this. Nope. <laughs> Monkey's laughing. Okay. Um, the saw, no good. Like my, my what I do? I just called it the saw, didn't I? Uh -huh. Or a knife. It's it was the saw. So no. Um, it's. Well, that's too thick. No, too thick. What if you had a piece of wire, thin piece of wire, could you do it with that? Or what, how about fishing line? You know, you need to cut a piece of fishing line off. What with the, with the that? saw? Yeah, with that. No, you would use the knife. You're not going to cut a piece of fishing line with that. Well, you can go. Be done. Or you'd be, be done with the cutters or the knife. Uh -huh. It's a saw, which should saw through there. But, I mean... I'm going like this when I can just lay that down and it's done Perfect. see it's done and you know I mean sitting there trying to I mean even a I mean that's useless man <laughs> I mean dang what do you think of it so far, Monk? I don't like it. <laughs> she don't like it either. Okay, now, like I said, she's got her personal protection gear on there, 
which she really did not need. I just wanted her to put it on for the video. Right. <laughs> and I think she's just now figuring that out. No, I already did. <laughs> oh, you already figured it yeah, out, I'm but you didn't need along. it. Oh, she's just playing along. I okay. Knew, I knew you weren't gonna blow up. <laughs> well, There's you never here know. For you to blow up. You never know. Anyway, I wanted to keep her safe. So let's go back in the house. It's pretty cold out here tonight. It's probably down to 55 now. So. Yeah. It's Tomorrow and I, it's gonna be real bad. I know my northern friends are gonna be like, kiss my ass, Shaver. Yeah, right. But it's cold though. <laughs> when you're in a hundred degree weather all year <laughs> and it goes this slow. It's cold. Yeah, it gets this cold for like a month and a half at least. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. Let's go back in the house. We'll give you our final thoughts on this. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back in the house. Mm -hmm. And we just talked for like five minutes and wasn't recording anything. Because no. apparently I was recording coming in the house and recorded all this and then when I hit the record to do this I actually shut it off of record instead of turning on record. Anyway, she decided she better put that back on for some reason. She's afraid I'm going to blow up, mm. which, come on, I, I cut a propane tank in, in half or, you know, and I didn't blow up. So. I thought you did. I didn't blow up on the propane tank. I thought you had part of the video when you went kind of like boom. It was a joke. I don't think it was. I joked about blowing up. Mm. But anyway, anyway, this this uh, pop I was telling you about, I got one up here. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to be hard to see because of that light, but if you look up there, I don't know if you guys remember when I... I made that bottle curvy. See how it's all curvy? Anyway, still got it. Remember I heated it up and made it curvy. So, uh, first thing she said was, this is garbage. Basically, yeah. Um, I mean, I had him another one and it got lost, but. Um, got stolen. Yeah, basically. That's another story. Yeah, it got stolen. So, and it was a lot better than this one. It wasn't hard. It, it, it were stiff because it was new, but they, they did no, they come were in not, and out. It was a nice knife. Yeah, yeah. It was um, ten times better than this But it was knife. Sears. So. Yeah. So, can't get them another one. But the, the only thing I could see, if somebody gives you one of these, you don't want to hurt their feeling. You know, the light, is a, it, it is a decent light. Um, it's not five dollar light, but take that screw out there and that screw out there. And there's a couple holes there. Put it on your key ring or carry it in your pocket. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff, the knife blade is okay. It's sharp enough. Like I said, you know, even a little knife or a doll knife is better than no knife. Yeah, this is better than nothing. But for, I mean, for five bucks, you can get a lot better deal to have. Oh yeah. For an even for an emergency, like I said, this is not even going to go in the tackle box because I won't be able to get a hook out of a fish's mouth with that, you know, at all. Maybe a baby. No, not even. I mean, no. It's just it's. I I just can't junk. see carrying it's this thing junk. around, you know. When no. uh, I saw Swiss Army knives for five bucks, and they're four, ten times better. Than yeah, that. they're they're ten times better than these, and. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's awesome, uh, the, the Swiss Army knives. In fact, I'll go get one. Hang on. Okay, so here's one that I sell. I sell them for five bucks, and she thinks that's how much this was. And I'll tell you, it's got a lot more stuff in it. You know, there's a hell of a bottle opener right there that I know. <laughs> Yeah, look at the size of that yeah. one compared to the other one. And also, this is also a can opener. That's why it looks sharp on that side right there. Because it's also a can opener for opening like soup cans or whatever. So it's kind of a comparison. And so you can get, see how these are kind of out there a little bit. You can get to those better. There's another bottle opener. Well, actually what this is. This is the can opener. This is a bottle opener here. There's your screwdriver. 
um, that hook is also used for something else you can also use it as a bottle opener of course you got your your little uh, tweezers and you got your little toothpick or if you're in a fight with a bear you can poke him in the eye and piss him off more of course there's corkscrew um, a lot of people go well when, when are you gonna need this I, I needed this a few times didn't I right. I had to screw a screw into a cork and pull it out with pliers but there's also if you got to make holes and stuff in the wood and stuff th these do come in handy a lot more than what you think and on down the line I mean like there you go this is for fishing you tie your fishing line on there did you know that oh yeah yeah you tie your fishing line onto that hole and you hold on to it here oh my god and you catch a fish you pull well, him up out that's cool and wrap your line up around there oh yeah we should yeah. try it and see and if it works that's a good idea yeah, yeah just fish with that yeah. and of course you got your little nail file which is also good for other things you got you know um your Phillips and uh, this thing here, I forget what this is for. That's a saw. No, this is not a saw. Oh, it's a file? No, I already showed the file. Oh. I forget what it's for. I think mm -hmm. you can make holes with it. Oh, yeah? I think that's what this is for to make holes in the wood. Of course, you know, you got your knife, mm -hmm. and this thing is very, very sharp. Um, there's the saw. Look at the difference. I'll show you the difference in the saw on this thing. See, there's that saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a saw. That's a saw. Mm -hmm. See the difference? Wow. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> so there's the saw. I showed you the knife. Um, like I say, you can get the stuff out easy, easier, because it gives you room to get your thumb in there. Okay, now there's another kick-ass saw. Look at that one. That's a nice knife. See, again. Wow. <laughs> you know? Uh, this is uh, this is like a for a fine a fine saw and then this is real coarse for like that wood we was cut excuse me cutting outside I should do a review on this this is just a china knife but I can sell these all day long for five bucks yeah everybody else sells them for ten and they sell them until I come along and then I sell them <laughs> because you know I'm afraid because I I don't think it's a ten dollar knife. Mm, but I, I do think it it's is. a well. I I I think a fair price is five dollars. But and, still, or, I mean, and, look. And see this. This has a has a little thing to put on your key. Put your keys on whatever. But it's out of the way of everything. Nothing gets in the way of that. To where that one, everything gets in the way of the damn thing. You got to open it up, and it's it's getting caught in there. You know, like this one here. You know, is right there in the middle. Of where all the blades come out you know I mean it's look at that you can't get the name mm -mm. Terrible. <laughs> see like right there see where that goes that ring and then look see the rings in the damn way of everything then you try to close it the rings getting in the way mm -hmm. this ring is out of the way of everything like I said five bucks all day long is what I, what I sell these for I like um, that one yeah I got a bunch of these that I have nothing in because I got them with a whole bunch of other stuff that I bought that I've already made the money on. So mm -hmm. everything, it's everything profit. that I'm selling right now is profit. Profit, yeah. yeah. I'm on profit. So I got a bunch of these. I have sold several of them for five bucks a piece. No problem. People look at them. This one's scratched up and stuff, as you can see, because this is just a display model, you know. Yeah. So yeah. people pick it up and you know stick it in their pocket and see if they like the feel of it and then. Uh, if they say they want it, I'll just hand them a, a, you know, one that's still in the box and still in the plastic. Um, but I'll probably keep this one myself. Um, but anyway, so all in all, 
jump. <laughs> Do that again. Oh, I can't. <laughs> See, it's dangerous. What do you think, Mike? Mike? What do you think, Mike? <laughs> Where'd you get that name from? Because I was looking at the knife and I'm going to call you monkey. So I crossed the two into one, Mike. Mife? Okay. Mike. Milf. Ooh. Anyway, someone's going to give you these. You got your pick. Which one are you going to pick? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't even give it to a 12 year old. No, that's not even good enough for like, because I, I, I mentioned that. And she said, well, yeah, but it's kind of dangerous. Because I thought, well, for their first knife, you know, it's too dangerous. Because I almost cut myself trying to open it. The only thing I don't like about this from this, it has a light in it. And this one doesn't. Yeah. But I would take this any day over this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Um, Especially if you're camping, you're usually going to have a light source. All right. You're well, going to have a headlamp. You're going to have a flashlight or something. Right. Um, this, uh, no, five five bucks. Let's just say five bucks. Even to put it in the truck for... Like I said, th this is, and this is not the good, real, actual Swiss Army knife, which I have one that used to be her dad's. Yeah. It's a bigger one. And they come in different sizes. Actually, I also have the little ones, don't I? Mm-hmm. I also have the little tiny, tinier ones. I forgot mm -hmm. about them. I think they're better than that Red one ones. too. Yeah, um, but oh. but how for five bucks? You know, you you want some of these? I'll send them to you five bucks a piece. And I also mm -hmm. got the little ones. Yeah. If I remember right, I think I got a couple little ones. You might have a few left, not too many though, because we I'm, did sell. I might have sold out of them, yeah. but they they were little, you know, just a little yeah. pocket knife. And they were little brown. But it had pretty much everything this one does. But like I said, you guys are interested in these? Five bucks a piece, all day long. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, most everybody, even online, they're going for eight to ten dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm selling them for five. Um, but like I said, they they are China, but um yeah but it, it's, if you lose it you lose it yeah you're out you know? five bucks you know yeah it, it, it's uh, not 25 or 30 dollars like i said I, um, I you know i have used this before and the, and the blade seems to be okay mm -hmm. it's fairly sharp but you would want to put your own edge on it i mean i'm sure it would break if you go twisting i don't think i would try to um you know baton with it it's a pocket knife come on you know but for you know, I have cut a uh, 550 paracord with it. It cuts it fine. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hold an edge for a long time. But it's a $5 knife. You know, like I said, any doll knife is better than no knife because you can find a rock and sharpen that knife. Wow, you know. until you get this. That is, you know, well, the knife part, like I said, it's still not a $5 knife. With the light in the knife, it's not worth 5 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe this a is dollar. Where to go here. <laughs> Yeah, but still, I mean, even I don't for like how you can't dollar, get them out. Even I yeah. have a few nails, but not big ones. And, but you know, even at a dollar, it's kind of useless. Yeah. I mean, if they would perfect it, do some changing on it and perfect it, then it'd be well, well worth five or ten bucks. Mm -hmm. But right now, as it is, no, I, I don't recommend it at all. I mean, I do like the wood look on it. I do like the wood. There, there mm -hmm. are some things, and also like, mm -hmm. you know, most of most of your multi tools don't have the spring back. Now the good ones do. Some of the good ones do, but I mean, so I was impressed with that. I like the light and wooden handle, but for five bucks, no. I mean, it, it just they need to the other things they need to uh, address. And then it'd be a nice little knife, but um, it weighs about the same as this, but it's bulkier. See how much wider it is than this? Yeah. Um, so that makes it I harder mean, in your pocket. Yeah. So anyway, guys. Yeah. Um, again, I'll I'll say you guys these five bucks a piece all day long, man. Now tell me how many you want. We'll go from there. This thing, I'll sell it to you for ten dollars. No guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> With the box. And Any instructions? instructions. <laughs> and I'll even do an instructional video on it. And you can put it on your mantle. You can put it on your mantle and <laughs> because it looks cool. <laughs> looks That's bad. about all it's worth is sitting on the mantle. Well, I don't even think it wants to do that. There we go. <laughs> but I mean, whatever. <laughs> 
There it is. Don't recommend it. Two thumbs down. What do you think, Monk? Oh, yeah. Bad. <laughs> bad. Just bad. So, like I said, here it is again. The box. So, if you see these at Walmart for a good deal, even if they're on sale, stay away from them. Get you. Just get a hold of Shea so. Bear and buy you one of these for five bucks and be done with it. Like she said, if you lose it, you're out five bucks. Right. You know? I mean, At least it's a good tool you can use until you lose it. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's you know, it's not the best. Of course not. It's not a $50 knife, but I don't want to no. carry a $50 pocket knife in the woods anyway because... You might lose it. You set it down, you lose it, you're out 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. You and know? It might, yeah. Think about it. How many of these can you buy for 50 Turn around and keep one and sell the rest for 10 bucks a piece because <laughs> a lot of people are selling them for that. Mm -hmm. I'm not, but they are and they will sell for that. But all right, guys, that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bird the Myth Man a Legend. I'm gone for now. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend and be safe. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll throw a blooper in here. Where we was just chit chatting and we didn't realize this was recording. Okay. So we'll throw okay. that in. This is kind of because we was actually talking about this thing. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> so we'll throw that in right now. See you guys later. Bye bye. Well, I was thinking you could put it in your fishing box, you know, or something like that. No, I was talking about the saw. Yeah. Well, that's what good is that? I mean, you can't use it for nothing. That's that why when I, I was like fishing string, well, how? That red one I bought you was a hell of a lot better than that sucker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, but I gotta get, be honest, you know. No, it's okay. That's garbage. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a good light, but it's not a $5 light. No. I mean, look at the lights you can buy for five bucks. All right. I mean, this is like a dollar light, yeah. you know. If I should have paid a buck for this. I would say a buck would be fine, but... Yeah. This is Dollar Tree I mean, products. I would say this would be something to give to your 12 year old as a starter thing. Maybe, yeah. But this is your starter hard, thing. Hard yeah. to get him out. What if he caught his hands trying to well, get him out? True, but I mean, what good is it, really? Uh, yeah. It's a not. novelty thing? Novelty? I mean, just, just it's supposed good. to be able to be used. There's tools in here. I know. You know, a Swiss Army knife, oh. I can use everything in it. I can't get you another red one either. You don't have no more? I bought it from Sears. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back in there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and you got stolen. Yeah. Because that was a nice knife. Yeah, it was. And they knew it. I got a good deal on it, too. I better put my mask back on. Are you? Yeah. For safety measures.